Why? Uh, when did you start taking music seriously? What made you want to take music seriously? I've been uh, I've been doing music all my life. I've been writing, okay. and I've been writing. I started writing in juvenile. You know, I was in TYC for a while, so I started writing in, in juvenile. What were you in juvenile for? Um, I was in juvenile for attempted murder case. Um, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. They dropped it down, and uh, possession of a firearm, oh, right. and I also have uh, possession of. Control substance in the drug free school zone. But you were under, you were under 18 at that time? Yeah, I was, I was about 13 or 14 at that time. Damn. So, so you know, when you mean like at a young age, you started in the streets young, it seems like, am I right? Yeah, you know, my daddy, my daddy, you know, I came home from school one day when I was about 10 or 11 years old and they had an eviction notice on the door. So I really had to kind of like sleep on the porch to wait on my daddy, but he never came back, you know. Oh, so wow. eventually I wound up being homeless on the sea wall, you know, sleeping between the rocks or whatever. And I was uh, stealing food off the, you know, little restaurants up there. And then my uncle Michael Pickney, you know what I'm saying, may rest in peace. He found me doing I'm that. I'm sorry, who? Michael Pickney. Michael Pickney, okay. Yeah, he found me doing that, took me off the, you know, took me off what I was doing. And, you know, he ain't teach me the right way, but he taught me how to survive, you know what I'm saying? And I just went from there. I hope the camera sees my face, goddamn. Yeah, it's all I not like, man, but it's real. You know, man, it's crazy, like... I, I like to talk to people that have been through something crazy like that because, you know, I'd have been through 30, 40 surgeries in a wheelchair because they gave me a drug they knew they were not supposed to. So it's like, I know what it's like when you just going through something that nobody, you feel like nobody can relate to. And you feel yeah. like it's tough and, and you feel like it's just not going to get better. It's not going to end. Now, I ask you, man, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I think that's an interesting story and an interesting aspect of your um career and what makes you up as the artist that you are would i be right in saying that yeah to a certain extent but you know it's it's and my mindset is everybody go everybody where i'm from kind of go through the same thing just different situations different circumstances yeah. you know when i ran across boo and me and boo met up you know boo 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 hard in our life you know what i'm saying boo boo been through it all yeah yep. you know so it was easy to relate you know what i'm saying so when you you kind of just that's the environment you want to be around that's the people you want to be around because that's who you relate to you know so when you're around that environment and you can put put your 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 past into your future and put a lot of music and make something with it it's like magic you know what i'm saying yeah for sure. so you know when when i when when i met up with boo you know like i say boo <laughs> boo boo made magic you know what i'm saying yeah. and he made the room yeah. You know, just it's just it's just it's a it's a sight to see. That's crazy. Um, I wanna um ask you a couple more questions about that. Uh, so when so when you were on, when you were on that porch, I mean, what what happened from there? Did you have to go into the foster care system? I mean, I ran from him. You ran from him. Yeah, I, I mean, I was very knowledgeable. Yeah, I was very smart. You know, uh, I just really, you know, I didn't go to school for a while. You know, like I said, I was on the seawall for maybe about three to four months. It wasn't long. Wow. You know, sometimes you got to, you know, just you find a friend's house to sleep at. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. Your friends will let you in the back door. Yeah. You know, let you sleep in the bed with them sometimes. You no, know, but sometimes yeah. you got to sleep on the seawall with a rock set. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, we can't smoke yeah. on camera. Oh, we can't I'm sorry. Smoke we can't. On camera? Yeah, we can't smoke. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, but it did I. Yeah, we're going to take that out. I'm sorry. Uh, they could take away my kidney transplant. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I could nah, die. I won't do that. Yeah. Um. So, anyways, um, we'll just cut that out. So, uh, that's crazy. Um. So, what? I'm I'm just curious as to. What was going without, through your head? Without, no, what was going through your head, and without parental guidance, how am I talking to you now? Like, how are you here? The streets. So my, you raised? Did you raise yourself, my, or were my, you were you living Mike, with a family Michael member? Michael Mike picked me up. My okay. Michael Mike picked me up. He, matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you how he picked me up. I was on the sea while. I was actually still in quarters out of people's cars. Okay. You know, trying to get some food or whatever. And uh, I didn't know he was out of jail. I didn't know too much about him at the time because I was still young. And I was trying to steal quarters out of his car. Wow. And he caught me. You know, he got on my ass about it. Took me to his house. You know, put me back in school. And sh he gave me the game, you know. Okay. And I took it and I ran with it. Wow. That's what I was wondering. But, yeah, what was in yeah, That's the last question I have. What was in your head at that time? What were you thinking when, like, I, I kind of wonder what you were thinking at that moment when it first happened, and nobody, you know, you were waiting and waiting and waiting, and then 
what were you thinking of like shit what do I have like were you kind of like what do I do or you know that's what I'm wondering what was in your head more, more was being scared nervous okay worried you know just kind of trying to figure out you know what to do how to do it exactly do yeah it, where to go you know who can I turn to but to be honest with you it didn't nothing really just hit me until I actually went to juvenile and I had a, you know time to really think about everything wow you know, it's it just it's a hurtful feeling when you know everything you knew or all the people you know in your life, they kind of disappear or turn yeah. their back on you. Yeah. And so the closest people to you too. Yeah, once you get that crazy. out your system, Man. you you gonna be small. So that's what that is. Yeah. It's like you you meet somebody right and you look at them, you never know until they until you talk to them what they've been through. They look like they been through a nice perfect life and they could just be insane and you never know until you speak to them.